Howdy y'all. I thought I'd start a new series detailing some of the firearms that I use for competitive shooting. I get quite a few questions about what my gear consists of and sometimes why I use the gear that I do. Now to start with, most of these loads, as you'll see, are built around the 1851 Navy Richard Mason conversions. When I started cowboy action shooting, I knew the revolver I wanted to use was the 1851 Navy, so I built my original loadout based on that percussion revolvers. And as a newbie to the sport of cowboy action shooting, trying to start with percussion revolvers added an extra level of complexity, but it taught me a lot. 1851 Navy, 36 caliber at 80 yards. Yep. Now I've mentioned in other episodes that at the time I started cowboy action shooting, there weren't any real reliable quality 1851 Navy conversions. So percussion was really my only option if I wanted to shoot the 1851s. And shooting cap and ball revolvers also meant that I would be competing in the black powder categories. And yes, I know that the rules say any category can shoot percussion revolvers or black powder. But if I was going to shoot black powder, I was going to go in all the way. So you can see my initial choice for revolvers led me down the path to the dark side. Hold up, down now. <laughs> you better go down. <laughs> Three, five, two, seven. Now I paired my 1851 Navy percussion revolvers with an 1866 Yellow Boy rifle because, well, that rifle to me is just absolutely beautiful. The first rifle I had was 24 inch, just like the one I use in this current loadout, but it was chambered in 38 Special. And quite simply, that rifle didn't have enough smoke and fire and boom for me. I was attracted to all of the spectacle of shooting black powder. I was drawn to the role-playing aspect of this sport, so I wanted to create a more period-correct loadout for cowboy action shooting. Which brings us to where we are today, looking at my different loadouts for the game. So over the course of this series, we'll look at my main match loadouts, and yes, I do mix it up. I know a lot of folks just buy one set of firearms to compete with and maybe have a backup for some of the gear they use in their loadout, but I like to mix it up to be more proficient with multiple different styles, calibers, and barrel lengths. We'll also look at my loadouts for side matches on later episodes. This is loadout number one. It's all built around long barrel guns. This loadout would be my first choice for any range that had targets at cowboy action shooting long distances. Hit all 10, 11.64. That's what I was supposed to do with the revolvers too. Good? You're good. You hit. Where am I going? You're on seven now. Seven again. Seven again. Seven okay. again. You hit. So that's it. I think that's it. Yep. Two, oh. four, point, nine, zero. Seven, seven targets. I wanted to hit all ten. These would be my last choice for ranges where you might have to go in and out of windows as the long barrels can be a little more difficult to do that with. 
And all of that makes just the slightest difference in time, but since you're competing on the clock, time does matter. So first up, the rifle for this loadout is an 1866 Yellow Boy rifle with a 24 inch barrel. It's chambered in 4440, also referred to as 44 Winchester Centerfire, and the rifle does have a third generation short stroke kit in it. And having a short stroke rifle is great if you wanna go fast, but I often can't see the targets for those really fast follow-up shots. What I do find is that the short stroke helps to limit the movement of my rifle when racking the lever to chamber another round. It makes the shot to shot transition smoother and that does translate to faster time. The revolvers for this loadout are a consecutively numbered pair of 1851 Navy Richard Mason conversion revolvers in 38 Special. Their factory stock shot straight out of the box with no action work. And the current holster rig I'm using is by Ted Blocker. It's a drifter rig named after my pard Mid Valley Drifter. This is a dropped holster rig, which is a far cry from what I started with. But this dropped rig does help in getting the longer barrels out of the holsters without having to draw your elbows up past your ears. And finally, the shotgun for this loadout is a 12 gauge Browning BSS with 23 inch barrels. It's been tuned to open easier and if I do my part, load and shuck faster. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this look at loadout number one. If you did, be sure to smash that like button for me and share this episode with your pards. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of the idea for this series and if you have any questions about this first loadout. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and stick around for more content like this. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time.